Welcome back to Limbus Company Daily Mirror Dungeon. Last time I got a bunch of suggestions for stupid challenge runs from you guys, and I've compiled them all into a wheel. We've got, a uh, how many options do we have? Actually, 14. 14. 14 different challenge runs all suggested by you guys in the previous video. And, um, we're gonna spin the wheel, and we're gonna see what I'm gonna do today. I am perfectly aware of the irony that is, you know, You've already seen the thumbnail for the video, so you already know, you know, what this run is going to be about. But, uh, I don't know yet, so, uh, we'll see. Let's spin the wheel, the Roland wheel. Okay. Oh, is it going to be tanks with no egos, or is it going to be corpse? Corpse indeed, alright. That is a pretty simple one, all things considered. Basically the exact same thing as last time, but we're going to get someone from every single, um... We're gonna get like represent for like just all the corpse, I guess. That that's all there is to it. Um, I'll just take this. We probably will have someone for last. The thing about it, there's there's G Corp, there's L Corp, K Corp, and then it's our pick of someone from R Corp and someone from W Corp. We've got a lot more options there. These three are the ones that we're really not too many options. I guess we could take G Corp Otis as well, but you know, G Corp Faker is like the main one. Let's see. As far as W Corp goes, we probably want one of these two. Because we could get, get like Mersault, but like, no. And these two are already taken. So, um. Well, Rio should, why not? And for our Corp. I don't know why I was having a Ryu song. It's, it's these three. We need to pick of which animal we want. So, um, I mean, rabbits are the traditional ones, but he's also, you know, very strong. And why not? But it'll be good corporate representation, I think. Let's roll with this team. Fewer sinners than necessary, of course, that's fine. Yeah. Elcorp. I know, they're not helpful. Um. W Corp. A Corp. R Corp and G Corp. There we go. Now this is very this is a very strong team, that's for sure. A lot of super strong units, but that's fine, I think. Let's see, pop up. What do we have? A lot of slash. Yeah, it's mostly slash. So we'll go for this. We're gonna take top path either way, and I guess we go in alphabetical order. Sure. I guess that works well enough. If we went in like vaguely numerical order last time, I guess we can go in alphabetic order this time for the corpse. Since it's a strong enough run, we do not need to give our strongest people, you know, more speed dice. I mean, Gregor is very strong, don't get me wrong. Uh, resolution? What is that? Poison or taste or something? Ace with poise. Off to what I was saying, but that's fine. We've got a couple people with lust. Most people, I think... Yeah, Gregor, Faust, and Ryoji all have lust, so they're the ones that can benefit from the bloody tear. Or the bloody gadget. Yeah, the bloody gadget. It looks like a bloody tear. It looks like the bloody tear from Terraria, which is in turn a reference to Castlevania. So that's why I say that. Delectable. He's got the 30% damage boost, so his eviscerate was certainly eviscerating. Alright. That's all them done and dusted. So now we get some events. We can see what we get. It would be fun if we got like one of like the corp related um abnormalities show up here. It would be really funny if the final boss of the railway turns out to be the centipede. Oh, this is possibly corp related. I think it's like they call it like Company X XX Inc. or something. Company XX. The the company that made these, which is probably not an actual corp itself. You're not special though. Give us a damage boost. There we go. Oh, drunkard. 
I love booze. Give me 100 cost, please. Ooh, someone's gonna need to do some drinking. Who do I trust the most? You've got the highest sanity, but you need two out of three. You've got the highest sanity for only needing one of those. So you're the best choice, I think. Yeah. Oh no, it would have been Hong Lu. Because Hong Lu needs to get one of two, so I think he technically has the best it? chances. But that's fine. Gregor's sanity goes up. Take Works for me. I think my mic stopped working for a second, but it's fine now. Not like anything was actually missed. I'm pretty sure it stopped working during that loading screen. So I quit. I realized it quickly enough. I think it happened. To okay. I don't know why it's muting my mic. It's muting my mic. It's not like a hardware issue. It's like physically muting my mic. And I need to like go to the settings and re-enable it. So, um... I don't know what that's about. Well, these guys are dying. Like, there's not much I have to say here. We're, we sure are corping all over these guys. It's cool to think about, like, just how many corps we are learning about. We're almost certainly going to get some U-Corp stuff in the next Kanto, and probably K-Corp stuff the Kanto after that, if I had to guess. Only time will tell. Alright, you guys. Which means we get more evisceration and all. Weak the slash is very good for us. We don't have a single blunt attack on this team, barring your secondary. So your resistance means nothing. And the opportunist slash means a lot. God, how powerful for a two coin is that? I feel like there's not a lot of powerful like two coin skills. Like of course, most powerful skills are like four, five coins with the occasional really good like single coins with stuff like mutilate but there's really not a lot of two coins that i think of like are as being insanely powerful but this is like kind of it just falls in the middle i guess kind of why because single coins have a purpose to like win clashes like really consistently and multi coins have the purpose of doing a lot of damage with a lot of hits very good at staggering people and still getting some double damage hits off then like two coins and like some three coins but most just two coins are really strange. Because we haven't like gotten any one coin skill threes in like a while, I guess. I'm trying to think about it. Also, target damage up. Uh, we can just take more resources. Why not? Always good. Like barring like a lot of the avenues, barring a lot of the identities that were like out in on release. How many have there been that actually have a single coin skill three? I mean, I know Sloshing Ishmael. That's the one that's like very obvious to me. But that's because Sloshing Ishmael is like bad. And I mean bad. No, because like on release there was stuff like Speed On. Ping Tang Hong Lu, um, G Corp Otis. I mean, I guess it's just because, like, any identities that weren't added on launch, they really want to make look appealing so people, like, pull for them. It's kind of, like, crucial in a gacha game. And single coins really don't look as appealing as, you know, many coin multi hit big unga bunga kill. So it makes enough sense, and I guess the entire design intent behind Chi Ishmael was to look as unappealing as possible. Or not Chi, no, Sloshing Ishmael, I mean, eh. You know what I mean. I can barely even remember Sloshing Ishmael's name, it would seem. That's how forgettable she is. Okay, yeah, this one goes down here. That's good. Yeah. I 
I guess while we're doing rest off and stuff. Question of the day, um, we've done, we've done like favorite default ego, done favorite tap ego. So logically, um, what's your favorite key ego in the game? Because he is aware like a lot of like the really big fire powers right now because we don't have any vods yet, although we're gonna get them soon. Um, like he's aware a lot of, like the really noteworthy stuff is stuff like fluid sack, stuff like um, stuff like pursuance, Arter blossom star, all those. Because for me personally, it's got to be pursuance. It was the one of the ones that really caught my eye first off. So it is probably my favorite of the he's. Oh, there's definitely a lot of ones I like. I do like I like Gregor's AADD a lot. I think it's fun to build around. I haven't done it much. Like the idea of like being able to benefit both from Rupture and Guard with like basically everyone is super cool. It's also a shame that it's, you know, very strange, that's for sure. Like Spark is fair to just I wish it wasn't only Rupture with Bloom attacks. I wish it was. I think I wish it was vice versa. Honestly, I think that'd be too powerful. Maybe though, when it hit the attacker gains charge count, but gloom attacks and like rupture down. I kind of think I'd prefer it if it was vice versa. But then I guess it wouldn't be as charge based. I think the charge is still really good. Don't get me wrong. But when stuff like you know teleport on exists, if you're gonna use a heat ego, oh yeah, that's another stupid thing of the ego, of course. But if we're gonna use a heat ego for this purpose of uh, building up charge. Teleport on just a lot easier, and I think it's deeper too. I know I know teleport on only five resources, and it's a pretty attainable five resources, being two envy, two gloom, and one wrath. Then ADD is like it's six in total: three gloom, three envy, which is still pretty easy. But you know, for single target, um, single target that isn't even like particularly synergistic with anything Gregor has, since he doesn't really need charge for anything beyond Rose Banner. I feel like it just really doesn't work yet. Maybe future identity it'll be really good, that's for sure. But for now, ADD Gregor is kind of underwhelming, as fun as it is. For sure, up, because I think up tying it, it still stays single target, right? Bringing it to Thread Spin 4. I'm pretty sure all it really does for you is makes it so you inflict 15 instead of 10 of his the status effect that I already forgot the name of. Ryoshi skill. Get another skill too. Probably. Yeah, your skill 2 is really good. And then, um... What do we want here? Burn? We don't have any burn. Rupture? We don't have enough rupture to really warrant it. Although we do have a lot of rupture, all things considered. These two, you... I think you might inflict rupture with one of your attacks randomly for, like, no reason. Unless I'm mistaking you for a different identity, but, like, not enough to actually warrant it. We don't have anyone that's good for like ruptured count, so I don't think it's worth building around. And we're not gonna get staggered, so no need for that. Pearson Wrath. Okay. This is the cyborgs. Right? I'm not forgetting anything, am I? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure Cyborg's the only Pierce weak enemy on second floor. So it really should be the dead giveaway. Hey, Blade, sure. If we can take out like a couple of these guys immediately, we'll be in a good spot. And we can just like hack this. You might lose. You'll take some damage, but you're well, you, you can heal yourself. It doesn't matter if Jeep or Gregor takes damage. Given his, you know, very normal amounts of healing. Ignite, okay. I mean, I know they are weak to pride, but uh. That's still a lot for, you know, a skill, too. But yeah, I brought the one and we're shooting this guy anyways, but it doesn't matter. Because as long as you take down the first two, turn one, you should be able to get a factory thing off very soon. Yeah. Okay, you've got a little bit of speed right now, thanks to your skill, too. So you can just opportunity to slash this guy. We want to damage him a little bit, not too much. Just a little bit. Let me go for those. Oh, you gotta hit this guy. Alright. Then we can shoot you. And this should work well enough. Might do too much damage to the main guy. We don't want to bring the one this turn, although we almost certainly are. Because we've got a few strong attacks going for him. I guess... Yeah, that's still a couple strong attacks, though. 
He graze the grass and then leap on top of everything else. Yeah, he's going down to one. Well, we'll just need to do full power on him this turn then. And just hit the factory. We can kill both of these two this turn. No, we can kill this guy this turn. We actually didn't bring this guy to one HP. I thought we did, but uh, I didn't really look close enough, I suppose. If this rate for flash win, act that guy to take him down. The K-Blade will work on that, and then we can go for like a, a leap, quick suppression, soul strike. And he's only got 140 HP. He's got two protection, but that's not, you know, a lot. Especially because he's going to get staggered straight up by the Eviscerate. Yeah, that guy is not surviving. Well, he will because of surgery, but he's not. He'll be brought to 1 HP, whether he likes it or not. And bottom dies to the K-Blade, yes. Very much so. His body's still intact, but his HP bar is not. Oh yeah. Overkill moment, that's fine. Yeah, a little bit of a strong team, don't you think? And now we gotta do this again. I hate the city we live in. I hate the city we live in. I hate the city we live in, there we go. If we dismember you, we maybe like hit you with like a hack too, just for safety. Then everyone else is just gonna beat this guy up. Okay, I can say if we do that. Alright, that's fine. We'll do this. We'll EC just to make sure you die, and we'll concentrate a fire. Make sure you die. Like that. Oh, that's throwing me off. The fact that you can actually redirect stuff with lower speed things if you were the original target. It's a super good quality of life, but it keeps on, like, throwing me off when it happens. Like, I'm just trying to go for, like, a throwaway one side of the attack, but then it redirects all of a sudden. And just throws me off. Yeah. Concentrated fire finishes him off. He's weak to Pierce. There we go. Our enemies, poise, poise. Um, as with poise, gain more final power. We can take this. Go fly to. Yeah, we'll take this for the sake of Faust. And you know, there's always the possibility that we get the funny ego gift that'll just give us even more poise. I just conveniently forgot the name of Nebulizer. That's the one. Which would just mean that everyone gets even more power. Mm-hmm. Be a little bit good, I think. Oh, immediate quick suppression. That's also good. Speaking of good. Yeah. That guy... Had, had, he had, his chances were very few. And yep, that guy is dead. <laughs> Eviscerated. Then we'll take the, we'll take another we'll take a slash week fight here. We'll take a Canto two themed fight here. Why aren't the bo they should have had the bongs here? I don't know why you can't fight the bongs in your dungeon two. It feels like such an obvious thing to add. And, you know, make it so there's at least a single other option for slash week, even if it is just the bongy K Corp guys, which is probably all it would be for the most part. Because you see a splash beacon, you always know what you're going to get, because it's just always these guys. Sometimes it's, you know, an alternate form of Kanto 2 guys, like, oh, sometimes you'll get some Ting Tang guys instead, or some of the bodyguards, or... Rarely you can get... Can you even get the actual slave? Like, the miners? In... Mirror Dungeon 2? I know they exist in Mirror Dungeon 1, like on the second floor, rarely. But I don't think I've ever seen them in Mirror Dungeon 2. Probably because, like, who remembers those? They just existed for a couple fights in the actual dungeon. 
Or, you know, like, the frost sleeves. Those two. The, the neighbors. Oh, there's Nebulizer. What did I say? Boys build. Carmel is good. Heathcliff can get another skill three. And Carmel is good. We'll take Carmel. Double bleed is funny for Heathcliff because he's got a little bit of bleed, but that's all we have for bleed. Yeah, so far we're already like a little bit speed running through this run. The power of having just a bunch of strong corp units. It really says a lot about the city. Our DDD are a little sooner than I would have liked, but that's fine. If she's under 7 charge, she doesn't lose any HP from it, which is good. Otherwise she'd lose... What is it? 3% per charge missing? So she... If you could use it at 0 charge... Yeah, she could lose 45% of her HP by using it turn 1. Which would be funny. I do like my suicide strats. That was 51 healing. God. So funny. Yeah, I've got him at uptight 4, which uh, does something. I don't remember what it does. I think more rupture synergy? Yeah. I actually don't remember when I uptight into that. Or for what purpose. I assume a rupture team, but like... Obviously not a rupture team. Why did I do it then? Because if I was using a rupture team, I wouldn't. I'd pretty much never use Chi Corp Gregor because I'd use Rose Banner Gregor because he's got some like decent potential for rupture count. Huh. Oh, Gluttony Ego Spam. If you insist, I'll use a Legger Domain or two. Ooh, stars. You got this. Yeah, shoot, shoot the star guy. Steal one of his stars. The blue star apostle guy. The blue star believer. I should. Nico. Alright. Nico would. I mean, just leap him immediately. And he resists it, but it's leap, so he's only gonna resist it so much. An option to slash, they're gonna resist it, but they only got staggered there, actually. <laughs> Yeah. There's a guy at 16 HP. Quite a few of them got staggered. Yeah, three of them got staggered there. Uh, neutral for Heathcliff. That's probably fine, because we we're going to leap Nico again. And after the leap, I think, will we have enough charge? Almost. Use a DDDR. And he still won your neutral, so that's good. And he's weak to this, so it's almost enough to stagger. You just gotta land a couple hits this turn, and we'll be good. I did want to share this up. Because earlier today, I got, uh, I got effectively uh, fan art of the Lobotomy Corporation, uh streams I've been doing. If you haven't been watching them, I do them every Saturday, but uh this is this is from SNIS. And it's it's incredible. I gotta share it. I've been thinking about it all day. It truly is so awful. Because it's a re it's a meme of it's that one meme of Adam Sandler's eight nights. It's been redrawn of like the the feet the standout Employees of our run. You can't see what the EU gifts are, but uh, you can get a decent enough sense. I'm sure you don't need to look at them. We'll take a uh, we'll take the wound Claire because we've got some wrath skills. Why not? Um, and it's it's just so incredible because like there's like we've got like I guess I can kind of vaguely curse over. We've got Iowa Rock, we've got Bong Bong, myself, and we've got Dante and Virgil in the corner. It's incredible. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Nis. I'll probably take it off the screen, but I just I just can't help it's this like even all all the ego gifts are there too. Like it's it's very high quality for a stupid me. Uh, thank you, Sness. That's the killing. Uh, option slash. Yeah, these guys are dying heavily, I think. Me thinks. 
Oh, yeah. Lost your clash. So you're gonna take minimal amounts of damage that you can just heal back, like, super easily, if I wanted you to heal it. But either way, he's gonna heal it back. Uh, Leap's doing a lot of damage. I mean, all of our attacks are doing well. Just because we're exploiting their weaknesses fairly well. Oh, we might as well do a DDDR. I don't see why not. We'll clash with the DDDR for the sake of it. Yeah, I spent 30 HP because we were short. Six charge, I think. But that's fine. It's worth it for the joke. For the stupidly powerful tertiary skill. Oh, wow. More cost, more resources. We don't need resources. We're not egoing at all because we do not need to. Oh, this is even more slash power. All right. On a team with primarily slash stuff, that's a little bit good. I feel like I, I still do feel like seven people is overkill for mirror dungeon too. Like they really should have just kept the cap. At, they should have made it so you started with five, and you know maybe the cap stayed at five. I think mirror dungeon two hard seven people definitely fits, but for mirror dungeon two normal. Like, none of the fights are built around having more than five people ready. You'll even get, like, a six enemy fight, but even then, like... So what, you're gonna take one hit, like... You'll probably kill slash stagger fast enough to get... ...it to equal terms, or on your terms, without a lot of time. You know, especially because, like... Seems that Kanto 5 is gonna be moving to seven people fights as the baseline. Definitely is very worrying to see because like how fast are we going to expand the team how long will it take until we have 12 feet person fights when we get to the point where we need to have 12 people deployed for every like mirror dungeon if it's actually built around a 12 person mirror dungeon um let's let's just say it'll be a lot harder to do build without you know only using like a couple people it's already really hard to do some status effects like for the full team like there's really only three decent sinking units in the game and boys like there's a couple boys units in the game but like even they're kind of weird definitely like doable with like lead have like a pretty i mean charge is the only one where you can get like an actually like pretty decent team with 12 people because pretty much everyone is a charge identity or charge ego. There's only a couple of people that still don't. Those being... Um... Hmm. Sinclair. And Otis. I think that's it now. I think it used to also be Ryoshu. But now everyone's got something. Because I'm including egos, of course, and I'm including stuff like Rose Spanner for uh, Rodeon, which, you know, you may not count, and I'm, in I'm including stuff like how uh, like how Yi Song has Dimension Shredder when he doesn't actually have any charge identities. There's just a lot of charge. And this is still going very fast, that's for sure. It has been 23 minutes. Oh, commemorative coin, employee card. It's Heathcliff skill. We give Heathcliff another skill three, or we could take the coin. I don't really want to use egos too much. What do we have for single coin skills? Like, your primary, your secondary. Your primary. Nothing that special. We'll give Heathcliff another skill three, then. Might as well. Risk guards? Five charging damage up? Nah. And then this is the Ichthus fight. The Jesus fish is... Some people are inclined to call it due to its Jesus relationship. I don't know, like, when I look at the fish, I don't think, like, it's hard for me to imagine this guy with a head, personally. I feel like his head would just be, like, this, like, this large anyways, with, like, little eyes and a dopey little mouth. Maybe it would have, like, a big, like, eel-type mouth or something. But I can't imagine he's missing very much. Because he had, like, a giant, like, spherical head or something. 
Probably just never had a head at all. Which I don't know. I don't know exactly what the biblical significance of the ichthys is. Like, is there a biblical reason to why the fish lost its head? Leave your answer in the question. No. I'll search it up after I select my skills, probably. Because I'm, I'm curious now. I'm very curious. Like... Sure. This meaning. It was just used ancient times as a pagan fertility talisman or England as Christian for the Greek word emphasis. The initial of the word. So it's a pun. Because it's. Because it's a, it's a Greek word. That you can read the letters as the initials of the words Jesus Christ, Son of God, Savior. Okay. So we win all our clashes. I probably should have looked at the screen a little bit. I think we won most of them, though. Especially given how, like, the right leg's broken, left leg's breaking. We can have, pop that on the body and then pop a couple of random attacks on the rest of the thing. We can DD. No, we don't need DD DR right now. There is little need. Well, he's leave the body though. Let's see. And is, is there a reason why this ichthys is headless though? Is it? It's, I assume it's to symbolize blind faith or something, maybe. Theoretically, theoretically. Since you know it's all about faith, but you know it can't see, as if it might be blind. Hmm? Hmm? Am I onto something? I don't know. It's dead. What did the wiki say for headless like this? I, it doesn't have any actual, like, further description for it, which makes enough sense. I don't know how you would have a further description for that. Uh, when you're gaining poise using skill, the tremor enemies buff with charge. What do I take here? More tremor for no reason? Gaining poise or only affects... Faust. Charge only affects you. Yeah, none of this really does. We'll take this for the joke. <coughs> Why not? And what we do, like... That? We could just go straight across the top. Straight across the top looks like the best option, yeah. That will be the play, then. Okay, you do not want to have to deal with that. Uh, what if we hex nail? That works, that works. Okay, we don't need to do anything too fancy then. Yeah, this guy's medium sanity, so he's getting very few actual good rolls. That's good for us. We got a Tails at one point there, but luckily, you know, he didn't beat us. And yeah, it's resistive, that's fine. I just wanted to win the clash. If I wanted to do damage, I would have gone for, you know, fluid sack there, but I didn't really think we need to go for any AoE egos this run. That's for sure. Here's another quick suppression. This guy's resisting it, but um he's almost dead. So he should have resisted harder. What I was gonna say is it's kinda of funny how like the refraction railway two avenues we still know like comedically little about because that was a dominating. Okay. Luckily, none of you are just gonna kill her. That's kind. Ugh. Despite that, like all their, we actually don't know a lot about them just because of the fact, like, I guess it ju it's just in general in this game the actual observation logs are mostly from like a well an observation standpoint on the part of the sinners. And so if the sinners are like, yeah, we've got no idea, then like, I mean, that's all there is to it. They don't know anything else, like, deeper about the abnormalities. You should not spend HP. Well, you wouldn't either way. Unless we had something to keep for charge, which we might. 
I guess two random people gain two charge every turn because we've got that, like, one ego gift. And basically what I'm saying is we still don't know for sure if Sign of Roses is an aberration of one thin or flesh idol. Truly a intense debate. We go for this. We do not spend your HP, though. Chances are this guy thinks he's going to die before we got a chance to do that, but, um... Don't really want to risk it when R Ryoshu has already taken a stupid amount of damage from that one unfortunate clash. But he had an, at least a 90% chance of winning. I guess that's all dominating means, just 90% or better. Ooh, Tremor Burst. Oh, more Rupture is actually, like, possibly actually good. Take a rest. We'll heal everyone up, though, since you two both need it. Faust needed it a little bit. All on Ryoshu would have been a bad choice, but uh, that's fine. I only need to do two more fights, and then we're just going to get a row of events, and then a shop, then the boss. Was that the bowl? I only caught, like, I think it was, like, Blunt Gloom for the final boss. I only looked at it for, like, a split second. That's why I'm uncertain. This looks good, though. Ryoshi might die if something goes wrong here, but that's fine. If Ryoshi dies, we can just hire someone else from W4. We can just get, like, W Marcel or something to take her place. Imagine being replaced by W Marcel. How rude would that be? Oh, yep, that guy's not living this. That guy's also not living that. that those guys are- none of these guys are living this. <laughs> funny, funny jests. And now we fight an Abno. Weak to Blunt, weak to Gloom. Which is what I said the boss was, so I might have just been miss- Interpreting my eyes, but I thought I saw it on the right side of the screen. Well, either way, neither of these guys are weak to blunt or gloom, as expected. Although we can quick suppression just instantly kill you. I'm down for that. And then like a hay blade. You resist that. Maybe we do this. Maybe we let Gregor go for a neutral. It's blunt. He'll take some damage. It's G Corp Gregor once again. He can heal if he fails. And he didn't fail. There you go, do some notable damage. Not like great damage, but for a single coin on his skill one, which normally would have more coins. Oh, that only took three coins to actually win. Wow. Two of those coins of that quick suppression were unnecessary. Okay, yeah, and it's just you. We can Optimus Clash you. We can not do the ADR, so we shall not. Pop that on you. We can go for like that. Here, this, here. Should be good, I think. Based on my very few thoughts of process. What do we have? What were we doing on the bottom left one? I guess top right didn't die. We're eviscerating this one, so it is just going to be one loss, the guy left. Alright. That's good. Because we can do this, and we'll have you get shot down, although you don't even get the chance to be shot down. Guns do not have priority in this game. So far, there's been no attacks that have priority in this game. Or, of course, like, actual speed stuff. Oh, this will speed up our run significantly. Oh, this will... Also, theoretically, possibly speed up our run. No, that's Blunt and Wrath. Okay. So that's so that no one will cry. Gregor. Get another Eviscerate. Sure. Boss resists Lust, I think, though. He resists Slash, though, so his Eviscerate's better than his, like, skill 2. Um, and we'll take this. Sure. For the sake of it. Should we have, oh, we still had enough cost. I was like, shame we don't have enough cost to heal Ryoshu, but we really did, so I really shouldn't have left the shop there. She's still got like 100 HP or something. She'll heal a bit right now. And then we're going to make sure this guy cries. He cries real hard. 
We could just go all out on the body. I do really like that idea. Ooh. You're going for like a weak attack, so we could hex nail. And pierce fragility off. We're not going for any other pierce attacks this turn, so uh it's not like that great. Like what are they gonna do? Attack us? That's not gonna hurt us. You, you. Oh, they're actually just going to kill War Ryoshi. Maybe we shouldn't do that then. Well, we're going to go for some weaker attacks on the right arm then. Because we don't want to stagger the right arm. If we stagger the right arm, Contract does damage to the right arm instead. But we want to nuke the body, so this guy has to be the first thing to get staggered. Favored. And then, that's a neutral. That's a favored. Alright. And we've got quite a few good lust attacks that we're going to have to just kind of throw out at this guy. Lots, you know, our abundance of slash is not great here, that's also for sure. Good against the arm, though, if we don't want to do a lot of damage to it. Right, decent, decent. Body, we can probably stagger the body this turn. DDDR, do you have enough? You do not have enough. Alright. This will give you four church guns, so next turn you also won't have enough. That's unfortunate. If only you'd more of your skill too, is which you know she does. Alright, well this turn we're just gonna break this, I think. Do a lot of damage. Possibly just straight up kill him. That would be kind of cool, I think. You're being aggroed, so you're being targeted by a couple people, but not really much. That's fine. Can we just roll with this though? Oh no, we hex nail. Of course we hex nail for the three pierce fertility. Because we've got a couple pierce attacks going for this, so being able to do 30% more damage with those is a little bit good. Yeah. We're just gonna try and see if we can just blow him up this turn. I think we've got pretty good chances. 400 damage will be done straight up through the contract. Once we do get this stagger off. Not a great DDDR. That was expected though. And you're taking more damage from the Pierce. Oh, this isn't the right one. Oh, I see. No, this one's going first. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, we still got two of the coins off. But that's not bad. Yeah, Contract does 300 damage. I guess that's close enough. And he gets a couple attacks off. That's fine. He doesn't get his other actual strong attack because we broke the body. And this turn, we just kill him. Because he's staggered, so he can't use a defensive skill, and therefore he doesn't give the protection to himself. Yeah, because it's the actual defensive skill that gives him the, the bunch of protection this turn. So we just kill you. And it's a little underwhelming. Not as burst as I'd like as far as, you know, doing stupid amounts of damage, but, um... We did negate him from using his main mechanic. You really usually don't stagger his body this fast. I mean, I guess you really do if you use egos. But for only using a single ego, that wasn't bad. And then this kills? Yep. More like so that someone will cry. Ah, uh, god. No. Um, you did the most damage, of course. And Heathcliff, after all. You did the least, because you're Hong Lu, of course. Yeah. I mean, that was good. More stuff. Up to 679. 21 away from 700. Just kind of guaranteeing the fact that we will get to that level once we do Nimir Dungeon 2 hard this week. And we can claim some boxes. And then, of course, as we always do at the end of each episode, we gamble. With our ever-diminishing amount of paid lunacy. <laughs> I've got, like, what, two more days worth? That's fine with me. I'll buy more. I don't see the issue anymore. I mean... I think it's suffice to say if you're willing to watch a Limbus video, you know, that is posted daily this far in, you probably are 
mostly fine with PM's state right now. Even if you aren't, you know, fully, you're at least aware that, you know, it's not as bad as it is. Project Moon definitely did mess up. They did not handle the situation well at all. And they are absolutely at fault for some stuff, but you know, not everything. But yeah, no need to dwell on that. But thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!